we mowed the yard last night and uh, our grass has been growing extremely fast. I think it was mowed Thursday and uh, this is now Monday Memorial Day but it was pretty high last night in most places and uh, so we got it mowed but as you can tell we got rows of cut grass and uh, I don't know if you can see that in the video or not but just clumps lying in rows and Dallas is running the lawn sweeper and uh, it's picking up pretty good Okay, I picked up this lawn sweeper, oh, it's been a few years ago, and got it at a yard sale for like 20 bucks, and uh, just need a little bit of work. Cleaned it up, and Dallas got it out this year and tried to use it, and it worked pretty decent, and then we just finished adjusting it this morning, and uh, made a couple changes, and there was, I don't know if you can see those two bars in the back that holds the net together, they were missing and uh, just readjusted here to where it's sweeping and as you can see no more clumps of grass behind it it's picking up pretty decent so a nice little combination you can see the uh, mower we're using we also picked up at a yard sale last year and it's a nice mower just needed a lot of cleaning up and i think i had to buy one tire and tune it up we got it for like 300 bucks. I mean, we try to be as frugal as we can, and uh, especially since we're building a house. And as you've seen in many of the videos, the outside, and uh, it's just everything's working pretty good that way. A lot cheaper than buying a brand new one. Back to our square foot gardening trying something a little bit different um, I'll explain it to you here in a minute but you see I got a couple oh, I'll call them three-quarter by inch and a half and I think they're about 32 inches and then I got a little strip that's four foot long and I'm putting them together uh, just like I did here over here too and uh, I'm gonna finish putting it together and then I'll show you what I'm doing with it Okay, I'm digging out a little spot beside the tomato plants. I'm going to put this piece we just put together right down in. Okay, and uh, then I'm going to put a couple of screws right in here to help hold that. There's a second screw. And uh, kind of hard to film and screw the screw in at the same time, but don't have any of the grandkids around here today to help me right now. They may pop in later, but some of them's down in Florida. But uh, here's what we're doing. We'll put this in. And I got the other one that's not in yet, just kind of sitting there. And I've got one that's done. I can show you what I'm doing. Uh, Put it in, and it's going across, okay, and over to there. And I got my tomato cages around, and I got the cages, these little, uh, I call them tie wraps, some people call them zip ties, around each cage to help hold those together to support. And then I've got them tie wrapped through the board I put across and then that board is screwed down to my frame and uh, so this has got a couple of them done I'm doing the third one you see that third one's a little high because it's sitting on top of the ground don't have it down in there yet but uh, and I got a couple cages to put in for this end row uh, I've never seen anybody do that other than in regular gardening we drive stakes and tomato stakes and then tie the plant to that but I don't want to go down through the fabric and we get a lot of wind 
to here. Okay, you want to wrap that around to where you're sticking the end of the tie wrap in the flat side, the back side of the tie wrap. And then you just kind of pull it. Kind of hard to do this one handed. And uh, pull it nice and tight, and it'll stay there. Now, some people will leave their zip tie just stick up like that. I guess there's really nothing wrong with it, but uh, the best way, I mean, you could just take the cutter portion and put it in there and cut it, but then it makes a really, really sharp edge and you run your arm across it or something by accident, it can cut you. So if you take the other side, get it nice and tight down against, see if I can do this one-handed, and twist it and if you twist it and keep it down tight don't let it twist inside the jaws you can break that off and uh, as you can see it doesn't cut you and it doesn't break down in to release the little clip and uh, it's just a little trick I've learned over the years of doing electrical work okay there it is completed got the uh, Four tomato cages there, tomatoes inside, and uh, across the top, a little support, tie wrapped here, tie wrapped together. Everything seems to be pretty solid. And uh, I suppose once the tomatoes really get going, the wind kicks, it probably could destroy it, I guess, but we'll see. Completed. For the tomatoes, anyway. Uh, as you can see, we got the other two in, got them all tied up. Everything's supported pretty good. Uh, the only way I know that I could possibly make this stronger is to put a board from here across to the top of that one to make it a little bit more supported. But uh, it seems to be pretty solid for what we got. And uh, I'm just going to try that and see what happens. If the wind picks up and I come out here some morning and they're crooked, then I'll resupport a little bit.